Right, so today we're going to show you. Hold on a second, this audio probably sucks. Give me a second. That's better. So today we're gonna to show you how to do these kind of modern day Instagram reel slash TikTok fashion videos that you often see. A lot of the time they're done in these like super cool portrait videos with a lot of depth of field. And a lot of people think it's done with a cell phone with a bokeh effect, but in reality, the videos have a lot of compression, meaning they're done with mirrorless cameras or DSLRs with long range lenses. And that kind of gives you this effect that a lot of people see and a lot of people want and they don't really know how to do it. So we're going to walk you through it and kind of take you through making some cool, funky, punchy Instagram reels and TikTok fashion videos. Okay, so first things first you're going to need is, well we're going to shoot this in 4K and you probably don't have to because you're going to be posting it to Instagram and TikTok so HD is more than enough. So if you do have a camera that only shoots 4K 30, rather dumb it down to HD and shoot like HD 60 or 120 and you can get some cool slow motion effects of the person walking, maybe like flicking the hair, dress kind of moving. Sorry the lighting's pretty bad yeah, but we're gonna make do. Now I've got a 56 mil 1.4 lens on the GH6 over here. So essentially this is a 112 mil 1.4 lens, gonna give me a 2.8 depth of field, so I should be able to blur the background out quite a bit. We'll put on a full frame equivalent 80 to 300 just now and do like a very very cool like walk-in shot like super blown out but there is something that I'm going to show you because a lot of people think that these videos are cropped into portrait mode and that's the first thing I'm going to show you they're not cropped into portrait mode it's not a landscape video that they've cropped out because that's how they maximize the depth of field because you're essentially using the whole sensor by moving closer because you're moving to portrait let me show you quickly all right so what I'm going to do now you can see Michelle top to bottom and if we crop this out, you'd get that kind of depth of field that you see right now. I'm shooting this at f1.4. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk much closer to Michelle. And let's see if we can do it like this. But obviously you can see here, she'd be cropped half body. So if we flip it over into portrait mode and we film now, now you can see if I do the exact same crop as it was landscape, you can see the difference in depth of field. It just looks totally different. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get some shots of Michelle kind of showing the fashion outfit piece, so little pieces here and there, and I'll kind of show you as I go as to what we're gonna do and how we're gonna stitch it together. Some of her face, some of her flicking her dress, and kind of piece these little things together and make it quite punchy and cool. First, let's start with the dress because it does look nice here. Okay, so wave your dress around for me. And then I give a little bit of a, like an oscillation movement to the right, get some parallax in the background. I'm gonna get this detail of your dress over here for me, so kind of like maybe hold, like straighten it out and like slide your hip to the one side. So now we're gonna get some of her dress over here, and you can kind of see her hands gonna slide around. And some of the back of the dress. Now the back of this dress is quite cool, so turn around. There we go, just like that. Look over that shoulder for me. That's nice, so now I've got some like Got some cool lens flare over here, so there we go, she's playing with the hair, kind of go down, show the detail on the back of the dress. Take your dress and kind of like hold it out, the wind's kind of blowing it on your bum, so it looks quite nice. So now we're going to get a little bit more leg and make it kind of like naughty, just flick it around, maybe see some cheek. I saw some cheek. There we go. How's these Lark M1s doing? It is super windy today. It's not that it's like heavy wind, it's just consistent. It's getting none again, like a hectic gush. Yeah, a hectic gush, but it's always consistent. Like you'd hear terrible noise on the mic and it comes with these little dead cats, which is pretty cool. There we go and get some of her playing with her hair, hand kind of sliding down. Beautiful. Ideally in a case like this, I'd probably have my OC monitor over here because the sun is like ridiculously bright. Beautiful. So it's like kind of cool pieces that you've seen now of the dress and remember these videos are meant to be 10-15 seconds long So don't try and overdo it with too much b-roll. We can do one where you flick your hair Come over here for me more in the shade and then I can come down like this Okay, I'm gonna ask Michelle to flick her hair. So flick your hair for me Again kind of like flick it more like that and three two one go Beautiful, so I think you can kind of see how this Whole kind of thing works so now I want to get a cool walking shot and it's probably going to be like you know snippet 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 here and make it like very interesting and engaging for those 15 seconds just to keep the viewers attention there and kind of get your watch time up and views up 
So I'm gonna to switch to a super long lens and then we're gonna have her walk. Right, so I think you can kind of see how far I am away from Michelle. I am using the Olympus 40 to 150. So essentially this is an 80 to 300 mil lens and I'm gonna go really low down and I'm just gonna, that's fine. I'm just gonna show you guys the shot that I'm getting. So that's kind of the shot that I'm getting there and the background's not the, like the most amazing but it kind of suits the outfit and unfortunately it is kind of midday so we're dealing with the sun and we're going to change location later. Are you ready? Okay cool so this is the shot that we're getting and we're on autofocus okay and three two one go for it. second outfit we're going to do pretty much the same thing I'll walk you guys through it I'm going to have Michelle stand a little bit further back and I'm going to be just over here and three two one some movement for me perfect okay keep it like that for me um, put your one foot down and I'm going to just get your legs and put your one foot up for me okay actually no wait keep it down and you're just going to kind of kick that back leg up yeah that that one that one three two one go Beautiful, and then put it down afterwards, and three, two, one, go. Beautiful. Okay, now as it stands like that, I want you to take your right hand and lift a little bit of your dress up for me, and three, two, one, go. Little more. Beautiful. So put your head down, and three, two, one, do that. Lovely. Perfect. Now what we're going to do is we're going to get some more close-up shots of like the details on the dress. So just kind of add that fashion style to it. That's nice, just like that. Give me a second. And three, two, one, go. Wave it a bit. Okay, I want you to pick that heel up again for me and three, two, one, pick it up. Perfect. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to switch to continuous focus. Subject tracking on her face. So check this out. This is kind of how a normal person would like kind of shoot this, maybe something like that. And that does look great. You know, there's nothing wrong with it. But if you use that maximum telephoto look and you go right down over here, get a nice static shot and we zoom in, that's the kind of look that we sit with. Okay, ready and go for it. So we're at location two. It's not really a location, it's an underground parking lot, but we'll call it a location. Still a location, I suppose. Same story, get a couple of shots of Michelle. I'll show you some of the shots, and then afterwards we're gonna put this together. 56 mil lens, shooting at f1.4, so 112 mil, basically, uh, focal length. And then we're gonna kind of go around and get some cool shots of her, just kind of going for it. All right, are you ready? So this is the first time I'm actually shooting with this in full log footage, so I'll color grade it afterwards because the color in here is sometimes not so nice. Okay, here we go. And go for it. Perfect. Tummy in, arch your back for me a lot. There we go. Okay, great stuff. And we're gonna kind of go down to the jeans, show a bit of the butt come up. Nice and sexy. Okay. Now face me dead straight, elbow up against the wall, like that. And then put some shape into the hips, ladies. I don't even know if they can see my face from where I am. Can you guys see my face? Okay, so we're gonna shoot it right over here, next to the camera, and shoot along down these pillars. Okay, and give me one second, and three, two, one, some movement there. Beautiful. Okay, give me one sec. And her hips, so yeah, you can just kind of play with that and three, two, one, go for it. Get that detail going up onto the top. 
So basically I'm talking to Michelle the whole time and what I'm doing is I'm actually kind of just telling her where the camera's going so that she knows what to focus on with her hands and the movement. Once you've worked with the models over and over, it makes a little bit more sense. And three, two, one, walk and sway it. Okay, so I've just put on the 40 to 150. I'm gonna be standing way behind you guys. And then at least you can, actually I'll move you back a bit. Let's go. I'm way back on this side. I'll just show you my shot quickly, how telephoto I am super zoomed in. If I zoom out to the same millimeter almost as the camera that you're looking on, that's it there. And three, two, one, let's go. So sick. It came out pretty cool. We might do one or two more shots and then we're gonna go and edit this up. <laughs> 